A case of what appears to be animal cruelty has neighbors wondering if a dog fighting ring was being run on their block. Aisha, some of the images we're about to see right here are very graphic and disturbing. Yeah, Ron, so this happened in Spalding County where Caitlin Ross was today. Now you spoke to some neighbors out there who tell you that they were so shocked to see what was on the other side of that fence. Exactly, it is shocking and they heard the abuse before they saw it, but when they peeked over the fence, they were horrified. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Amber Marcosillo's friend called her when she heard the dogs in her neighbor's backyard. She sent over a picture of what she saw when she peeked over the fence. When she sent me the picture, I was absolutely horrified. Amber posted the pictures on Facebook where they were shared thousands of times. Lots of anger. I mean, a complete outrage of how people can do this to dogs. Griffin Police Chief Michael Yates understands the outrage. Dog lovers around here too. I got two rescues of my own, but um, and it, it pulls at your heartstrings. His officers arrested owner Courtney Thomas as soon as they saw the living conditions of the five dogs in the yard. One of the dogs had to be put down immediately. And after a report back from the vets, we managed to determine uh, that we could upgrade some of the charges from simple animal cruelty to aggravated uh, cruelty to animals. While the two felony cruelty charges are serious, neighbors suspect he was part of a dog fighting ring. But the evidence that we recovered during the search warrant, what, what we observed, doesn't substantiate enough evidence to charge them uh, with that at this time. But like I said, we, we've still got some investigative action to take. Amber understands it won't be easy, but thinks these dogs deserve justice. Our laws need to be changed. Um, the community needs to get involved. All right, so what's next here? Are we going to see some more serious charges coming down? They do think there are going to be more charges. The police chief says they're really going to be investigating this case overnight. We're going to check back with them first thing in the morning. All right, we will look forward to that update. Thanks, Caitlin.